Hey guys, Ed Bud here. Welcome back to the channel. Today you've got my top shoe bargains of April 2020. So with lots of new runners out there looking for shoes, I've been inundated with questions as to which ones they should pick up. All the shoe manufacturers are discounting last year's models right now, and I've scoured the net for some of the standout deals to save you some serious cash. So over on Nike's website right now, they've currently got the Pegasus Turbo 2 and the Pegasus 35 Turbo at some great discounts. The Pegasus 35 Turbo is in a couple of different colorways. I think there's the Indigo Force and the Blue Void colorway, along with the Oil Grey and Gunsmoke. Those are both at about £127 right now. It really isn't a bad deal for a very light and very pacey shoe. Great for long runs and at faster tempos. Even for racing as well, there's no reason you can't use the Pegasus Turbo for that. The Sail and Light Blue version's even cheaper at about £111 right now. So I think that really does represent some awesome value. I've got the original version of the Zoom Fly here from Nike. They do have a improved version of this shoe up on the site right now at a considerable discount. The Zoom Fly SPs in a couple of different colorways at around about £104. That's down for about £150, so a really big saving. There's two different colorways. There's a light brown and gold and the Obsidian Mist and platinum colorway. There's a super light upper on the Zoomfly SP, a kind of weight relieved version of the original Zoomfly here. It'll be fantastic for tempo runs on racing as well. There's a carbon infused nylon plate inside the midsole of that shoe. I think that that one's got a React midsole. There's a Lunalon in this uh, version of the shoe. So do check that out, £104, a great deal on that one. With the recent release of the Terra Kyger 6, if you're looking for a trail shoe, Nike have reduced the Terra Kyger 5 now to £79. It's very, very similar to the Terra Kyger 6. I had a good look at the specifications. There's only a couple of minor differences. It's a great, relatively light trail shoe. There's some decent protection in the forefoot area. I think there's a segmented plate to stop rocks from getting through and hurting your feet. There's a zoom unit in the rear of the foot at the heel. I think it's ideal really for some woodland areas. I wouldn't take it into some very muddy places, but the Terracaiga 5 will easily handle some light trails. Certainly a nice versatile shoe that's not going to destroy your feet if you need to run a little distance on some road or whatever to get to those trails. So really great shoe at that price of £79. I'd love to get back out of my Terracaiga 5s again actually. I've got some really nice trails just near to the house actually. Not far away at all, so... It'd be nice to get back out and get these muddy again, considering I've just cleaned them. There's ample traction here though on the outsole. These rubber cleats here really do grip nicely and the React in the midsole is fantastic. So, so I think around about £79, if you can pick these up, the previous iteration of the Terra Kyger 5, you can't go wrong. Obviously with the imminent release of the Nike Pegasus 36, Nike have reduced both the Pegasus 35 and the 36 down in price. The Pegasus 35 is available in both women's and men's colorways right now for around about £68 and the Pegasus 36 here in a few different colorways for £72. Certainly worth checking these out as a very reliable daily shoe. I've been wearing this one casually recently as I've got lots of other options to test out. It's got a great fit, that multi-tread outsole. Very versatile. It's going to be ample for a range of different surfaces. And of course you've got the added cushion from the Zoom Air unit, as you've seen in my recent teardown video. Across to sportshoes.com now. They've got the Ultra Boost 20. Yes, that shoe I didn't particularly enjoy, but I know that loads and loads of you out there did. That's reduced down from about £160 to £120. So about £40 saving on that one. I think there's various different colorways available, so do go and check those out. I think it's a really good saving for a very durable shoe. I did find that that one hardly wore whatsoever on the outsole. And Boost is going to last you ages, so I think perhaps if you're a slightly heavier built runner, that could be ideal for you. Sportshoes.com also have that bizarre shield version of the Pegasus Turbo 2. If that takes your fancy, you can get 40% off that right now. Could be great if you're in a very wet or cold climate. Not perhaps the most attractive of shoes to me, but there's no accounting for taste. I think that one's down to about 112 or something like that, so a very good deal for a Pegasus Turbo. If you're after a racing flat, then there's an incredible deal on sportshoes.com at the moment for the Adidas Takumi Sen 6. They've dropped this one down from £140 to £97. Guys, go and get it right now. This is a brilliant shoe, exceptionally light. 
It's about 215 grams in my size 11.5. UK. I would suggest going a half size up in this one. It is quite a snug fit unless you do particularly like a very tight racing fit. For me, I had to have a size up in this one to make it a viable option. What a deal though. It's absolutely outstanding dropping it by that much. A really high quality performance shoe like this one. So go and snap that out right away. More good deals from Adidas on sportshoes.com. They've reduced their SL20 model down to £75. There's a multitude of different colourways available as well for that shoe. I think perhaps some people are a little bit confused about the different Adidas models. Some of them look really similar. The Takumi Sen 6, the Adios 5, and the SL20, and I think there's an RC2 as well. They all look really, really similar. The SL20's got a full light stripe midsole, so it's got some similarities with the Takumi Sen 6. Uh, minus that boost section in the forefoot. I think the SL20 could be a really good shoe for 5k races. Perhaps when we get back to doing part runs, you know, it will happen sooner or later. Or if you're going to smash out some virtual 5k's, the SL20 could be ideal. It's going to be light, it's going to be nimble, and at 25% off, I think that's a great deal. I've been stalking the Reebok site like Beast Hunts a Mouse. They've got the Forever Float Ride Energy 2 at a discounted price once again. This one's a bit like the Millennium Falcon. It might not look the best, but it's got it where it counts, kid. I think if you use the code HOTDEAL at the moment, you can get 25% off of lots of different models on the Reebok site, certainly over here in England. That reduces this shoe down to about £56, which I think is a still winning price. Not quite as good as the £29 I got it for, but 56 for a solid shoe like this, you can't lose. I think you can find the same 25% off deal for the Run Fast 2.0 as well. Very tempted to grab one of those for myself. That one's got a Pebax midsole, so that's the same type of plastic that's blown into a foam that you'll find in the Vaporfly and Alphafly. At around about 80 pounds, I still think that makes a really good deal for a high performance shoe. So you might wanna check that out if you're after a very lightweight training option. So that's some of the best current deals at the end of April 2020 that I've found. Please do comment below with any other great shoe deals that you've stumbled across to help out all the viewers. Oh, it's thirsty work this. A quick musical interlude. With a little more time on my hands recently, I've been playing lots and lots of guitar. I've been kind of remembering as to why I wanted to play the guitar in the first place like 25 years ago, whenever it was that I learned. That was mainly because I wanted to imitate my idol here, Buddy Holly. I've been digging out some of his tunes again and remembering just how great it can be with three or four chords. He made some fantastic tracks. Peggy Sue, of course, and That'll Be The Day are those classic tunes everyone knows. But I really love the driving and rocking rave on. I don't think you can lose listening to Buddy Holly. I love the fact that he did these rock and roll tunes, but then he also did some really heartfelt ballads as well, some really beautiful, almost crooner-style numbers. True Love Ways is an exceptionally beautiful song. It's really subtle. You can really hear him singing from the heart there to his wife. So go and check out some Buddy Holly youngsters if you've never heard of him. This guy is amazing. I think testament to the recording quality as well. Those songs just sound fantastic. Okay, that's all for me for today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications below as to when new videos are launched. Hit that like button and comment below if you've got any more good shoe deals that you can let us know about. Please make sure you share this one with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.